Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is also fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from the county or the country in case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been studying and monitoring the activities and the speeches of George Natembea, the Transoya governor. Kuna wengine wamesahau Mungu huko Bungoma. Wako na hadi wako na Yesu huko. Hadi wako na Yesu bwana, wako na Yesu ya Tongareni huko. Hadi pia wako na Paul wako na papa ya roba huko. Ah watu wanapanda wanafanya watu waluye tunakuwa watu wa brand of jokes everywhere. Hata ukienda mimi ya Nairobi kule wakisia natoka kwenda ndio bandi ya Yesu ya Tongareni. We just become like all jokers. And uh, happy kufanya hizo vitu au ndio viongozi ambao tuko nao. Viongozi ambao maisha yao yote hajawahi ku sacrifice anything for anybody. Imefika wakati sisi kama jamii ya region hii na unajua region hii na jamii zote kabila zote la Kenya wakikui wako wahindi wako nini wako dunia hii yote tunakaa kama kitu kimoja ama namna gani tunaumia sisi wote ama namna gani tukishikana sisi wote kwenda hatuwezi pata hiki kitu hatuwezi pata maana tulipopata twende kwa hiyo meza ambaye mambo yanapangiwa hakuna kitu tafika huko nje lazima twende kwa hiyo meza hiyo ambayo mambo yanapangiwa huko sasa na huko bibi no that's enough lakini sisi tutakuwa kwa hiyo barabara hiyo kuchaji the cost ya baada ya kwani swali huyo raila mwaka wa 2007 watu walipigana wakauana baada ya kura na watu wakasema yeye ndiye amefanya makosa president ruto ndiye alifanya makosa walikuwa wanapiganisha watu mimi nilikuwa pia nilichuki wakati huo mtu ya mkono wakasema washike Raila washtaki hiyo kamato weke piu. Mbona hakushikwa? Eh? Mbona hakushikwa? Hapo na watu. And because in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence. I've been wondering what is up to. And it is now clear what George Natembea is up to. As a matter of fact he's been attacking Ford Kenya badly. Na muda siniambie na tembea mwangalie mambo ya Ford Kenya sana. Mimi nitaongea mpaka siku chama ya Ford Kenya itakufa na fiziki. <laughs> Maana matatizo yetu dunia hii pande hii kwetu ni mambo ya Ford Kenya. Hakuna sababu nyingine. Hata kulikuwa na jamaa pale ile Chris Wamalo. Alikuwa mjumbe wa kimilinisi ndio? Yeah. Akasimama kidogo gava na kaanguka. Yeah. Ama namna gani? Yeah. Ukafikiri kwamba sasa huyu mwezaka atamtetea akwe waziri. Alimtetea? Yeah. Anadeta <laughs> Si hizo kikuja kuleta hiyo ujinga hapa Tanzania utakuja tutakusikiliza lakini ukileta ukuzi hii kitu inakusinyia sana. Na mazina. And clearly Natembea cannot do that without the support of the system. Remember Natembea began his career as a DO. He rose until now he's a governor which means he knows how government operate. So the question is who is behind George Natembea because initially I thought that he was fighting on behalf of that Kenya who is Eugene Wamalwa but that's not the case na watu za tutakupani tena eti watu wawili watatu au kule Nairobi wanatuambia kwamba wako kwa serikali au watatu ati kwa sababu labda ni wabukuzo ama waluya wanasema waluya wako ndani ya serikali hiyo mambo tumefanya nini hata ni yeye kuzikuwa na mtu huko lakini watu jadi tupate maendeleo hapa kule kwa mtu kula kwa ni hapa yetu ama namna gani sisi tumekataa hiyo maneno kabisa na uongozi mzuri 
Lazima unachenga wetu wengine huko nyuma. Usikae peke yako kule mbele peke yako. Inaitwa succession management. Sasa wale ambao wa kule mbele waluye ni wawili ni mtabati na wetangu. Wamechenga nani? Ili wakitoka wanasema hata huyu anachukua kuendesha watu wangu. Wamechukua mmeona muda wote kweli? Wenyewe hata wameshindwa kuweka jamii ya waluye pamoja. Waluye wanaenda hivi, wengine wanaenda hivi. Hata kuna mmoja anaitwa sio anaitwa hapo diameto nani? Alikuwa amesimama kuwa rais. Akapata kura ile 20 kwa Waluye. Hakuna mwelekeo watu wanatupa tupa tu kura. Imekuwa imefika mahali jamii kubwa kama hii. Badala ya kuwa kwa negotiate kama jamii zingine kubwa wanapewa heshima wasema hao jamii tuna approach na mnaye maana ni watu wengi. Yetu ni kujazia watu wote kura. Jaza jazia raenda kidogo, jazia rudo kidogo, jazia nani? Watu kujaza jaza. Kama ugali zoza. <laughs> Kweli sisi ni ugali zoza kweli? Ah tuwezi kwa ugali zoza, si ndio? Chama cha Ford Kenya chenyewe. Chama cha Ford Kenya chenyewe hakuna succession management huko. Mtu ni mmoja tu anaweza kuwa kuwa secretary general, wote kuwa nani? Baada ya kura Jamal kwa kitu Chris Omar alikuwa anapambana na yeye. Ana do that lap head atakao kiti ya waziri. Akupewa. Kwa sababu atakipewa anakuwa tisho kwa mtu fulani. So, Johnny Natembea has finally declared his interest in becoming the next president of the Republic of Kenya in 2032. Can he really succeed? Sisi wote watu ya Western Kenya, kwanzia Nyanza, waka hapa, Western province, Nyanza, sisi wote tuko bise. Mwema jaribu mzee Raila tumesukumana na yeye, tumesukuma. Wale ama uongo. Tumesukuma, tumesukuma, sivyo ni shida na kwanga hata sivyo. Tena potanga namna gani kama hata sivyo hata sivyo. Sasa umele umetoka kwa mkikuyu, imeenda kwa mkale. Tumejaribu mjaluo, sasa haiwezi ruka sisi. Ah, sawa sawa. Wajadu tu kwa fair. Jamii ya Mkikuyu, ya Muluya, ya Mkalenjin, ya Mjaluo, ya Mkamba those are the big big communities, ndio? Yes. Watatu wameruka kaenda kuchukua nafasi ya mtu ya namba 2. Hata wengine aliruka kaenda nafasi ya mtu wa 2. Tunataka kurekebisha maneno hapo. Na Kenya wako tayari kurekebisha maneno. We are God fearing and we know an injustice when we see one. Ila kusema kwamba ni waluye wanawaa tu commander ya insecurity. Aiwa. Nataka tukue commander in chief. Ndio? Of the armed forces no hapana za sasa na mimi. Ndio. Hapa ni mna virusi ya dotoji. Kwanza Kenya tanyoroke takaa hivi. Wafisadi watakuisha hapo tutakuwa na nafasi ya mfisadi. Maana hii anajua maana ya kuishi katika taifa la Kenya. Na basi. Hiyo ndio sisi tunataka. So wale wenzangu wale kina wetangula wale ndugu zetu walitangulia kule mbele tunasema kuna kazi mnatufanyia, si ndio? Lakini mali imefikia sasa bintu bione. Na basi na. Bintu bione. Wetangula kana maina. Ruto mchu. No, no, my, no, like I want you to watch the following clips. Then in this video, I want to try and figure out what George Natembea is up to and probably the objective of his speeches. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. What do you think George Natembea is up to? Sisi tumesema kama tuwazoya kata ukata uchafu yote. Sindio? Na alama ukata uchafu yote ni kufanya hivi mkono. Aja ni wane hivi? Kui kaanaka pizza? Aja ni wane hivi? Wane hivi? Nini mwana wafanyi? Aja ni kizama mwana mwana kata, sindio? Umaskini, tawe Unazama tawe Njaa Siyaza ufukara Watu kujipenda Siyaza tumbambele Siyaza mkawanyiko Siyaza ya fondi kenya Siyaza ulo kiangwezi 
bure ile jua baridi watu wetu wivu imetuweka mahali babaya kabisa imetrekesha nyuma na ndipo sisi tumesema sasa si tu aluya kwa nini hapana hii uluya waje kuwe na maana yake Pande ya luya lulala kuna kupitana na kukorobishana na kupitana. Kwa sasa sisi katika senza ya taifa la Kenya ile senza zile population. Tunaweza kuanga namba 2. Lakini ukihesabu wa luya vizuri kabisa ule tu namba 1. Yes. Mimi nimefanya kazi kule Central Province. Wado mama kuna wazai. Kama tuko tu na bahati, tunao msena huko lazima mpembeleza kuzalia tu mtoto mmoja. Na kama mungu wazai mwingine. <laughs> Na hapa kwetu tunazaa usiku na mchana usiku na mchana usiku. Tuko wengi. We are very many. Lakini namba zetu hazijadishi kwa sababu ya leadership ambayo haijali wa yake ndio shida ni kwamba tunajua na tumatumbo ya wenyewe. For me, my interpretation of his speeches, his statements and activities is coming to the following conclusion. Number one, William Ruto is clearly out to divide the Mulembe nation. He has succeeded in doing that with the Kikuyu nation as we speak if you go to the Kikuyu nation they don't have a clear kingpin Rigathi Gashagwa is there but he's not getting the full support the way he should Dindi Nyoro is emerging and is being propelled to make him appear as if he's serious so that the light of uh, Rigathi Gashagwa can be dimmed Moses Korea is there uh, Kimani Shungwa is there so you can't say with the certainty that the Mount Kenya kingpin is so and so that is exactly what William Ruto is doing in the Luya nation if you were keen you should have noted that at some point i think uh, at the beginning of the year Moses Masika Wetangula decided to start consolidating the Luya nation he convened meetings of elected leaders and at some point i think even the meeting was even attended by ODM MPs and i thought he was surging ahead then now we are seeing natembea dragging him down why do you think that's that's happening of course natembea is also not supporting musalem davadi so which means in my view it is strategy by william ruto to keep the luya nation in constant fight the elusive luya unity will never be achieved number two, i think natembea has sat down and figured out that in 2027 William Ruto is going to be the sole presidential candidate and politics being politics there is a chance that William Ruto is going to shortchange Moses Masika Wetangula or is going to become irrelevant after 2027 Muslim Davidi is also going to become irrelevant and therefore he wants to emerge and that's why in all his speeches is very clear that is the one who is going to salvage the image of the Luya nation and the western kenya in general because he's young he's younger than ruto and that ruto cannot be succeeded by, by with the, cannot be succeeded that ruto cannot be succeeded by someone older than him <laughs> number three, it could also be a strategy to stamp his authority as far as transoya politics is concerned george natembea became the governor for transoya using DAP party which means he defeated Fort Kenya he defeated a combined force of UDA and now is the governor so he wants to stamp his authority so that in 2027 it's going to be easy for him to retain the seat and of course lastly i'm worrying for Eugene Omalwa because Eugene Omalwa has also declared his interest of becoming the next president of the Republic of Kenya but let's face it Natembea is a performer. Most Kenyans give him respect for that. He's someone who is focused on the job. And the truth is, if you are to give Kenyans the opportunity to choose between George Natembea and Omalwa, I think George Natembea will carry the day. So maybe Omalwa should also start worrying because in the next five years, George Natembea shall have served his second term after 2027 election second term which means he will be focusing on the presidency nothing else i don't know what to think that's my take until next time this is lee mcqueen bye bye